In this video, we're going to talk about odour neutralising, what it is, how it works, and what the particular applications are when it comes to odour control. G'day Tony, how are you? Hey Tim, well thanks. So let's talk about odour neutralising. It's quite different from carbon filtration, biofiltration. What is it, how does it work and how is it different? Well, uh, odour neutralisation comes into play when you have a diffuse odour source. By that I mean a large area, say a, a, a pond, it might be a settling pond in a wastewater treatment plant. Right, right. Might be a, a landfill count, council garbage landfill site. Right. So essentially something that uh, is not a point source that you can't concentrate down to uh, a vent pipe where you've just got odour coming out of one source. Right. You've got a large open a, area. A big area. Yeah. And once you've got an odour coming from that sort of source, uh, there aren't too many options of how you might control it. That's where odour neutralising comes into play. I've heard uh, slightly sceptical uh, feelings about this kind of thing that you sort of, I want to say, perfuming a bad smell. Uh, what do you say to those sorts of, uh, that sort of thinking? Yeah, well, that, there is uh, an opinion out there that, uh, that when you are uh, misting this solution into the air that you're really just uh, spraying perfume around to, uh, to mask the odour, to cover the odour. Mm. But in fact, it's, it's not that. Uh, it's not perfume. Uh, it's actually a solution that um, acts at a uh, molecular level to neutralise the odour, hence odour neutralising agents. Understood. So let's talk about these odour misting systems. Can you tell me a little bit, not too technically, but just a little bit about what's involved, how you actually get the mist over the area and what happens when you do? There's two types. Um, the, the first one is um, a, uh, a liquid. It's a, it's a hydraulic sort of process whereby you have the uh, neutralising agent in a liquid form and um, it is uh, pressurised and, um, and then it's uh, in that pressurisation it's then emitted through nozzles which turn it into a mist. Got it. And, uh, and so that mist is then just suspended in the atmosphere mm. and it's carried by the, by the breeze in the same way as the odour. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, wherever the odour goes, the, uh, mist goes the, too. the mist goes too. And yep. uh, it reacts on contact with the, with the um, odorous molecules in the atmosphere is mm. a reaction and it breaks them down to their, uh, to their basic elements and, and in that way uh, reduces their odour mechanism if you like. Uh, the other type is uh, what we call a vapour system. This is newer technology whereby um, there's, uh, the, the odour neutralising agent is in a, uh, a vessel that uh, will generate uh, a vapour and then we just take that vapour and, uh, and blow that through a, uh, a pipe distribution system. Being a, a vapour and not not the tiny droplets that, uh, that come through the nozzles, it uh, remains in suspension mm -hmm. for a far longer time. So it's, it's, a, it's, um, it's more effective than that misting system. And for a longer time. And for a longer time. The only difference is um, that uh, depending on the type of odour that you're dealing with, uh, sometimes that, uh, that, va that vapour system is not suited to that type of odour. And that's when you go back to the misting system. Okay. Now look, you have spoken about uh, uh, using these systems in large areas, such as, I want to say, a sewerage pond or uh, a landfill or something like that. Are there any other particular industries where this comes up? Uh, there can be um, industrial applications where you, you might have um, a large building, uh, some sort of uh, warehousing or, or, or some sort of industrial process that's going on within a, a large building. Mm. And um, the, it's, it's not practical to extract from that building and, and pass it to a carbon filter or a biofilter because simply the, uh, the airflow required is just too great. Mm. And so the carbon filter or biofilter that you would need would be massive and it just becomes not cost effective. Right. So in those situations, you can set up this uh, neutralising system within the building. So you'd have the, okay. uh, uh, the nozzles or the, uh, or the vapour pipe work uh, just um, you know, around the, uh, the perimeter of the building, the, the inside of the building and uh, fill the space up with, uh, with the neutralising agent. And, it's, uh, and it is um, uh, harmless, it's not, uh, there's, there's not a, a work health and safety issue with it. You, mm -hmm. you can actually have... Uh, so non-toxic. Yeah, you can actually have humans uh, working in that space where you're using that neutralising agent. And they'd probably be happy about that. 
Yeah. Oh. I imagine in terms I of reducing the iota. Thanks very much, Tony. For those of you who'd like to find out more, please visit us online at the Bullbeck Enviro website, bullbeckenviro.com.au. Feel free to send us an email, give us a call. Uh, we'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions and help as much as we can. Mm -hmm.